The American innovation machine, when revved up, is without question the greatest in the world. Today, we're putting that engine into gear and we're putting the pedal to the floor. I'm pleased to announce $8 billion in conditional loan agreements that will drive innovation and fuel efficiency and help revolutionize the automobile industry in America. This package includes $5.9 billion to help Ford Motor Company transform factories in five states, including Michigan. <laughs> These loans will help the auto industry meet and even exceed the President's tough new fuel standards while creating jobs, reducing our dependence on foreign oil, and ensuring America's competitiveness. I want to thank Governor Granholm, Senator Stabenow, Congressman Conyers, and the Michigan delegation for their commitment to clean, a clean energy economy. I also want to thank a few people who are not here, uh, Congressman Dingell for creating the Advanced Technologies Vehicles Manufacturing Program, and Senator Levin for his tireless advocacy of Michigan workers. I want to say to the workers here, we know America's auto workers are the hardest working, best trained, most productive workers in the industry. Today's announcement is part of President Obama's commitment to a new energy strategy for America. As President Obama said, quote, the nation that leads on energy will be the nation that leads the world in the 21st century. This means the most fuel efficient cars in the world must be made right here in America. This is not a talking point for this administration. It is a genuine commitment. As a senator, Barack Obama led efforts to jumpstart federal investment in advanced automobiles. As president, he made new investments in electric vehicles and advanced batteries through the Recovery Act. Last month, he brought industry, labor, and government together to increase mileage standards, which will spark innovation. Today, we're taking the next step towards the president's goal. I can attest that this loan program has been a personal victory for the president. In fact, when I took his position, it was one of the areas the President mentioned would need close and sustained attention. As Secretary, I've been committed to getting these loans out the door as quickly as possible. I should also want to comment that many people in the Department of Energy, most notably Matt Rogers, who's sitting over there, uh, really spearheaded the effort to move these loans as quickly as possible. So the loans I'm announcing today will go to three different companies. Their diversity reflects the automobile industry of America today. Tesla Motors, an entrepreneurial startup company, will receive $465 million in loans to help produce electric, an electric vehicle that is $50,000 cheaper than its first model, with a fuel efficiency equivalent of more than 250 miles per gallon. Tesla will also manufacture drivetrains to power the electric vehicles of Daimler and other car makers in addition to their own. The Tennessee facilities of Nissan, a major automobile company with significant U.S. presence, will receive a loan of $1.6 billion to manufacture electric vehicles and batteries. Nissan expects to cut the cost of its batteries in half and ramp up production of 1, 150,000 American-made, competitively priced electric vehicles annually. And the Ford Motor Company, an American icon, will be awarded $5.9 billion in loans so the American workers can raise the efficiency of more than a dozen popular models including the Focus, the Escape, Taurus, and the F-150. Ford will transform nearly 35,000 jobs into green engineering and manufacturing jobs. Ford's innovations will touch on many parts of its portfolio, from advances in conventional combustion engines to advanced transmissions to new hybrid electric technologies. Overall, this loan will help Ford raise efficiency to close to 2 million new vehicles annually. We estimate these upgrades will lead to fuel savings of more than 200 million gallons a year. With gas prices around $2.60 a gallon, this means savings of more than a half a billion dollars a year for American families. The investments in this package today will come back to our country many times over by creating new jobs, reducing our dependence on foreign oil, and cleaning up the air we breathe. These are just a few of the up to $25 billion in loans that will be offered through the Department's Energy Advanced Technology Vehicles Manufacturing Program. Over the next several months, additional loans will be awarded to large and small automobile manufacturers, to parts suppliers, up and down the production chain. 
Transforming the American auto industry will not be easy, but we know it can be done. During World War II, Detroit transformed itself at a breathtaking pace to meet the wartime production needs and, became, and become the arsenal of democracy. Today, we need a similar effort to win the battle against climate change and to jumpstart our economy. We know our workers have the skills. We know our engineers have the ingenuity. And we see today that the automobile industry itself has the will and ability to innovate change. The Obama administration is proud to be your partner in this effort. While it's difficult to predict the price of oil one year from now, the laws of supply and demand suggest the price of oil will inevitably rise. The economic strain of spending hundreds of billions of dollars on imported oil ripples through our economy. For the sake of our prosperity, security, and environment, we should set as our goal to make the most fuel-efficient cars in the world. Thank you.